we're going to look at the performance of the MacBook Pro Retina 2015 in 2023. So this laptop came out like in 2015 and I've been using it for quite some time now in 2023. And I wanted to talk about on its performance on a day to day as a daily driver. So first things first, when you tell a person to get a MacBook that was released in 2015, in 2023, that person will be like, what? Why would I get a 2015 MacBook when I can get a 2023 MacBook? So the 2015 MacBook Pro is still among the best MacBooks that Apple has ever produced. And if it was not for Apple to cripple software compatibility and limit it to macOS Monterey, this machine is still a go-to and a powerful piece of computer. When you get this machine, the first thing you're going to be spoiled with choices for ports. This machine has many ports. You won't be able to find in any recent MacBooks. And these ports are great to have. For example, you have two USB 3.0. We also have a MagSafe, of course. We also have two Thunderbolt 2 ports and also a headphone jack. So how does this machine perform in 2023? On my Mac, I have many softwares or applications that I use to keep my work productive. For example, my go-to editing software is DaVinci Resolve 18, which is a great software to edit your videos. And when I open the DaVinci Resolve 18 to use it on this machine, I tell you I get what I want or what I'm thinking about editing. The only downside when I open the DaVinci Resolve 18 is the fan noise. The fan noise is loud, which can sometimes irritate you, but it's a very big deal, especially when the machine can cruise through the work of the plugins and the LUTs that you throw onto your projects. So using the DaVinci Resolve 18 on this machine, it's great. Never have I ever experienced any lag and mark you, I shoot and edit my projects at 1080p. I also have the Adobe Photoshop, which is a very good editing software for your photos if you want to photoshop and make logos probably anything that you'll ever imagine doing you can do it using photoshop so this machine can proudly edit any photo using photoshop whatsoever that you throw on it it's going to cruise and crush it like nobody's business so i have no problem using adobe photoshop and also i also have Adobe Lightroom, which is a photo editing software if you want to enhance the looks of your photos or your client's work. Using this machine, you're able to achieve that because this machine has an integrated AMD Radeon Graphics. I also have Microsoft Office Word. So on a daily basis, I say I use Word, Microsoft Office Word, which is my go-to software when I want to format and write documents. So using this machine, you'll not have any lags whatsoever. And if you press any button, you're going to get the intended outcome. So I will recommend this machine if you want to use it as your daily driver. It is going to serve you and any program that you throw onto it or any application, it's going to crash it like it was meant to crash those programs. I can confidently tell you guys that this machine is a perfect fit for you because to me, it does all the things that I need it to do. For example, I use this machine as my main editing machine for my YouTube projects. You can all witness how it crushes them without any difficulties. The only problem that you can face using this machine is Apple has officially said that it's not going to be supporting software updates for this machine after Mac OS Monterey, which is a bummer because I think this machine is capable of more. And also the fan noise when it is under load, which can be a little bit frustrating for some of you. So hope this video has been helpful. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.